When the car is turning, the wheels running on the outside of the curve travel a greater distance than the wheels on the inside. In early automobiles, the driven wheels of the car were attached to one common axle, so they rotated at the same speed. The engine power transferred to the wheels by the transmission rotated both wheels at the same speed, causing the inner wheel to slip when turning. To overcome this problem and allow the driven wheels to rotate at different speeds, a special device was developed. This is called a differential. The differential is a type of planetary gear train. It divides power between the wheels in such a way that the wheels can rotate at different speeds, depending on the turning curve, but the average of their rotational speed equals the rotational speed of the drive shaft. The pinion at the end of the drive shaft rotates the ring gear, transmitting the power to the spider gears, which engage with the side gears fixed on the axles transmitting the power to the wheels. Now let's see how the differential evolved. The two driven wheels are mounted on separate axles. There are spokes attached to the inner end of both axles, which are driven by a crossbar pressed against them. The wheels can only rotate simultaneously at the same speed. When the crossbar is fixed on a pivot, it allows the crossbar to turn in either direction. This allows one wheel to turn even when the other is stationary. But if turned too far, the crossbar will lose contact with the spokes that turn the wheels. We need another crossbar and more spokes to ensure continuous operation. When both wheels are rotating freely, the crossbars do not move. Thus, the wheels rotate at the same speed. But when one of the wheels is stopped, the crossbars will turn the other wheel. Since the spaces between the four spokes and the two crossbars are too large, the crossbars can lose contact with the spokes that turn the wheels. This can be avoided by doubling the number of spokes and crossbars. If we add even more spokes and crossbars, and thus fill in the spaces between them, this results in an even more continuous operation. If we replace the spokes and crossbars with gears, the contact will be firm, and constant. If we make the gears thicker and stronger, we have a differential. We add another pair of gears to split the power driving the axles. These extra gears are called spider gears or planetary bevel gears. In order to rotate the structure and drive the wheels, we have to attach a large ring or crown gear here, rotated by a smaller gear, the drive pinion which is driven by the engine. The two spider gears are attached to the ring gear, and it can move in two ways. When the car is moving in a straight line, the spider gears rotate together with the ring gear. When the car is turning, the spider gears revolve around their own axes, thereby letting the wheels rotate at different speeds.